Robert might talk like that to all the girls. You do realise? Nah. I'm just saying it's not impossible. I don't think he's like that. We just don't want you to get hurt, do we, Cock? Because let's face it, if we did fancy you, if a red blooded human male in the species did fancy you, it would be a first. <laughs> It's good. I'm just striking a need of caution. I'd hate you to get out of the habit of thinking of yourself as a total dead loss. Only to have it slammed back in your face when you find out he just wanted to get his end away when he was drunk. A Karma Sutra. No, no, that's boring. What's that other one? Similar. The Joy of Sex. Now, that makes a good wedding present. Nobody learns anything, but at least you can piss yourself laughing at the pictures. <laughs> His girlfriends are Christian. So, what, don't they do sex? Yeah. Probably, but she's a pain in the ass, Christian. She might not see the funny side. Yeah, but you would, eh? <laughs> so, what rules you got left to learn then, darling? Uh, well, I've done the one sixes, but apart from that, all of them. Hi, I'm... Root learning. Ain't a job for little girls, this, you know. Have a fella got knifed last week. Up at Tottenham, were you? He's driving the 73s out of Stamford Hill. Did you hear about it? Ain't all too regular. Oh. Ain't two months since that last one over Clapton. Broad daylight. <laughs> Always the same. Nutters. Drunks. Off their faces on drugs. Oh, sure, you got your radio. What good's that when you got a razor blade jammed up your artery? We've got ten minutes. I'll stretch my legs if I was you. Some toilets through there. Just round the corner, on the left. Thanks. Now, leave your gear. I ain't going anywhere.
just to let me get high without my gear in his bus. I don't believe this. He's got me into dead with all my notes and everything. Oh. Here, put this on. Come on. And then when I was running for the bus, I fell over. And I bet I look like a right kid, don't I? It hasn't got any sugar in it. Hi. Oh, hi. Stinking headache in the morning. Yeah. I... I'm... I'm late. I fell over. You know, Robert? Yeah? You know, the other night... I nearly snubbed him. When we went down the sewage works, he... Robert? Yeah. Oh, Robert. Yeah. Robert's gay. But he... Is he? Why did he? No! What? Try and... No! In fact, no. He didn't. I've got company. She thinks he's watching Brentford playing at home. <laughs> Everywhere where there's an active struggle for political freedom going on, people are going to read Orwell and recognize figures like O'Brien, recognize institutions like the Ministry of Truth, wherever the high are. Oh. Hello. Hello. Where's Tanya? Los Angeles. What have you done? I fell over. Oh, my mum says, um, you're very welcome to come to my cousin's wedding with me on Saturday in Yorkshire, if you wanted to. If you weren't doing anything else, if you hadn't anything better to do, which you probably do have, but if you didn't... OK. Great. Oh, you don't have to. No, I'd like to. It'd be nice to say hello to your mum and dad again. It's really nice of them to think about me. Great. Well, that's... So, um, how was today? Fine. Fine. I'm going out on my own tomorrow. I'm driving the 120s through South Alt to North Alt. Have you told your mum yet about... Oh. I thought I might wait till I see them at the weekend. You didn't want to do that, 
did you love? Go and get yourself a cup of tea. Oh, Jenny. Jane. It's Jane. Yeah. Um. Are these yours? Now, is it true that you tried to do a three-point turn up someone's drive this morning? <laughs> <laughs> Bother you can think of, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Calm down. You're not going to tell anyone, are you? No, of course not. Like, especially not Dave. Like, especially not nobody. Who's Dave? Dave? Oh, Dave. Her husband, Dave, the fat controller downstairs. Well, obviously, no. Get out then, go on. Nice to see you. And you. Hello again. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Sorry we're late. Doesn't matter. You're here now. <laughs> How's the Department of Trade and Industry? Uh, yes, it's... it's um... And how's Jane settling in? Yes. The thing is... We're so proud of her, aren't we? Of course we are. It's all she needed. I keep telling everyone, a little prod in the right direction. Yeah. And how nice for you both, working together. <laughs> Do you actually work in the same department? place, area, <laughs> sort of business. No. Um, no. Not. The thing is, uh, I don't actually work at the DTI. Sorry, you don't work in the main, the central... No, I mean, I don't... I did pass the exam and they did offer me a position there, but then I rang them up and said I didn't want it. But your mum said you'd already started. Well, I intended to. That was the idea, the plan, the thing. But, <clears throat> you know I said I'd passed the PCV test on the same day. The what? The bus driving test. Did you? Yeah. And so I had a choice, a very clear choice, about whether I wanted to be a civil servant or a bus driver. Are you making this up? No. You told me. I didn't tell you anything. You assumed. And I know it sounds mad, but it's what I want at the moment. So. You're a bus driver? Yeah.
I'll tell you what, Jane. You want to smoke, you smoke, love, OK? You do just what you like. Don't worry about me and your dad. You do your thing, we'll do ours. All right. Why can't you be proud of me? I'm living in London, I'm earning a living, I'm doing a responsible job that's actually rather skilled, actually. And what does Richard think about you driving buses? Nothing. Why should he? He's not my boyfriend. No. You knew that, I told you. When? On the phone. When? It's going out with an air hostess, Tanya. She's an air hostess. So why did you invite him? Because you told me to. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I thought the best man's speech was lovely. Did you? I thought it was shit. Oh, fantastic present, Jane. <laughs> well done. <laughs> What'd you give them? A book? What book? The Joy of Sex. It's just a joke. Just meant to be funny. Everything always has to be funny, doesn't it? Well, some of us aren't laughing. That's what this is about, isn't it? Driving double bloody deckers. You just think it's funny. Grow up, Jane. For God's sake, for everybody's sake, grow up. <laughs> Every time, whatever I do, wherever I go, without even trying, I always end up in the wrong place, at the wrong time, doing the wrong thing. Forget about your mum. She'll come around to it in the end. If you have to. Oh. It isn't just... Jane. What? If I... What? Finish. With Tanya. If I... tell her that it's all over. Will you go out with me? <laughs> 